Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Wapa! Chris by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series, and in my opinion, so far, this is the best book in the series. I haven't finished Winter yet. I'm currently reading it, though. So it might end up being my favorite, but so far, what I have read, Cress blew me freaking away. I really loved Cinder. Scarlet, I felt pretty meh about, but then I got to Cress, and it just freaking blew me away. For those of you who don't know, the Lunar Chronicles series are a bunch of different fairy tale retellings with sci-fi elements, and they're just fantastic. I have reviews for each of these books, so if you want to check those out down below, I will leave a link down below to where you can find the different reviews for Cinder and Scarlet, and today we're going to be talking about Cress. There's just so much going on within each of these books, and it's just so hard to find yourself bored because they're so entertaining because of the fact that there's just so much going on within them. The characters are to die for, the plot is exciting, and the writing is just a Plus, it's hard to go much deeper than that because this is obviously the third book in a series, but I would highly recommend checking out the Lunar Chronicles series if you haven't yet. Check it out, try it out, see if it's something that you might enjoy, and continue on with the series. I can definitely say that the series gets better and better. Even though I didn't really enjoy Scarlet, the writing got better within that book, and by the time you get to Crest, you'll just find yourself completely falling in love with every aspect of the story. At least that's what happened with me. So without further ado, I'm going to be jumping into spoilers for this book. So if you have not read the Lunar Chronicles series, and if you have read Cress, I'm getting ready to discuss this book. So peace out if you have not read this book, but if you have read this book, let's discuss. It was really interesting seeing how everybody was kind of split up within this novel, and I really liked that aspect of the story, how we see all these different friendships being formed, and we follow different journeys throughout this story. We've got Cinder with Jason, Aiko and Wolf, Cress with Thorn, Scarlet with Winter. We just follow so many different journeys throughout this story, and that's something that I enjoyed the most about this story. It felt like even though this story was definitely supposed to be focused on Cress and kind of her introduction into the story. It was really nice being able to follow all these different journeys and just feeling satisfied with every perspective within the story. I just freaking love having such a massive cast of characters. Now obviously this can sometimes be a hit or a miss because there's always that one perspective that you like the most and the least, but in this book there were just so many people that I enjoyed reading about and I really liked that about this story. So we finally get the chance to really get to know Cress within the story. I know that we've gotten a little glimpse of her in the past, but it was nice to have a book dedicated to her. She's just such a great character and I loved getting to know more about her within the story. Hacker stuck in space with evil Sybil. Sybil was the freaking worst. She's probably one of the last people that I would want to be stuck on a satellite with. Maybe Levana would be actually the worst person ever, but still. I love kind of how awkward Cress is because of the fact that she is secluded in space. She just doesn't really get very many social interactions. The social interactions that we do see with her are with Little Cress and Sybil, and let's be real, those aren't the best social interactions to be having. Something else that I just completely loved about Cress was her obsession with Thorn. I knew that they were eventually gonna end up together, even though they didn't end up together within the story, I knew that that was going to be somebody that I shipped because people all over the internet are always like, Cress and Thorn, my baby! So I was like, okay, they're probably gonna end up together, even though they technically didn't get together in this book. We all know it's going to happen in winter, or at least I hope it's going to happen in winter. Please, can that be a thing that happens? Please. I need to keep reading winter. I just found it so funny that she had this big crush on him, and was fascinated by him, and had made up these scenarios in her mind as to why he did certain things the way that he did, even though she was completely off about everything. And I just loved the dynamic between the two, because they're kind of put in this really interesting situation where Thorn is blind, Cress has never been to Earth before, and they go to Earth, and so they had to really come together and work as a team in order to kind of continue on with their journey. And I just loved seeing that. I loved seeing them come together and figure things out. Something that kind of surprised me within this book is that I started to like Scarlet a little bit in this book, which if you guys have watched my Scarlet review, you'll know that I wasn't a huge fan of Scarlet. And I just wasn't a huge fan of the Scarlet and Wolf relationship, which thank the Lord above, we get a little bit of a break from that relationship within this story because they're split up. That might sound awful of me, but I just needed a little bit of a break from that relationship because I just didn't like it at all in the second book, but I just enjoyed her character so much more in this book for some reason, even though she's like practically tortured throughout the whole thing. I just really enjoyed her perspective. Now, on the other hand, I really didn't enjoy Wolf's perspective at all in this book. He was still just a really frustrating character to me, and I just didn't enjoy reading about him 
at all. We get a little bit of a glimpse of winter within this book, and I don't know how I feel about her. She's really strange. She's kind of like a Luna Lovegood character, which I really love Luna Lovegood, but I will admit, Luna Lovegood is really strange and weird, and winter just kind of reminded me of her a little bit. I mean, winter is the last installment to our squad, right? Like, she's the last one, so she's got to bring something to the table, and I'm really interested to see what that is. We also get a little hint as to who her relationship is going to be with, and that is Jason, which, how do we feel about Jason? I don't know how I feel about Jason. I feel like Cinder just kind of trusted Jason right off the bat, and I was like, yo, should we be trusting this fool? I'm not so sure about that, Cinder. Which, let's just talk about Cinder a little bit within this book, because Cinder kind of frustrated me throughout this book. Just some of the decisions, not necessarily decisions, but some of the plans that she had, like, they were just not thought through at all. She was just coming up with stupid ideas and stupid plans, and I was just like, Cinder, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it! Stop! Stop! Cinder, what you do in full? We get the reunion between Kai and Cinder within this book, and I actually thought it was going to go a lot better than it did. I was hoping for this, like, super romantic reunion, but Kai was just kind of, like, pissed off. What the heck are you doing here, Cinder? I just gave Kai a little bit of a country accent on accident. Thankfully, we do have that little romantic scene between the two of them after Cinder reveals that she is Princess Selene. But then, of course, Levana gotta come in and ruin everything, as she does. And guys, Finally, my last thing that I want to talk about. Aiko has a body again! Holy crap, that's so exciting! I don't really have anything else to say about Aiko. She's my sassy queen and I love her to death. And if anything happens to her in winter, I will cry for days. So those are all my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Cress by Marissa Meyer. You guys should let me know down below what your thoughts on Cress were, what was your favorite moment that happened within Cress. Let me know down below and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Whoosh, later. Whoosh. My hair is so freaking long right now and I just want to shave it all off. Thumbnail time. Ah! For those of you who don't know, the characters are to die for. Die for. What am I? What did I just do? What did I just do? Crest with score. Crest with gun.